the structure of the atmosphere with the troposphere spanning approximately 15 kilometers and occupying that area between the surface of the earth and the stratosphere. It is within the troposphere that most atmospheric phenomena occur. It is where the air is at its thickest and there are significant concentrations of carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen. The stratosphere is a thin layer that occurs just above the troposphere. Above the stratosphere lies the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and the exosphere. It is within the stratosphere that a key component exists. Oxygen in a triatomic form, or O3, ozone. It is important to recognize that ozone exists in relatively small amounts in the stratosphere when compared to diatomic oxygen, O2. But at no other point in the atmosphere is the concentration of ozone as high as it is in the stratosphere. The presence of O3 in the stratosphere is of great significance to the status of life on Earth. For it is the ozone molecule which shields the Earth against significant doses of harmful ultraviolet radiation. Significant amounts of ultraviolet A traverse the layer and end up at the Earth's surface, but the ozone layer, as it's called, plays an important role in shielding the Earth from harmful ultraviolet B radiation with all of the UVC dissipated well before it reaches the surface of the Earth. Were it not for this ozone shield, the levels of skin cancers would rise and so would the number of cataracts. Crop production would decline and most significantly phytoplankton which are key producers for the aquatic food chain and their immediate consumers, the zooplankton, would be greatly affected by increased amounts of ultraviolet radiation. 